Cecile Chaminade, a digital story by Waverly Watkins. The purpose of this story is to outline some of the highlights of the composer Cecile Chaminade. We will be learning about her life and her music. At the end of this digital story, we will be able to answer the question, who is Cecile Chaminade? Cecile Chaminade was born in Paris in the year 1857. Her early music studies were with her mother, who was an amateur pianist and singer. Her father did not approve of her music education, so she studied in secret with her mother. Chaminade began composing at the age of eight. Much of her early life was spent composing and working on her piano skills. The Chaminade family held music to the highest standard. Cecile was even encouraged to publish some short keyboard melodies in a magazine. After recognizing the talent that Cecile possessed, her parents were extremely supportive and finally took her abilities seriously. Despite her obvious talents, her father decided a woman of her social standing should not be pursuing music education and refused to send her to a music school. Chaminade's father did allow her to study with a man named Benjamin Goddard, who taught her advanced piano skills in private since she could not attend a school of music. In addition to Benjamin Goddard, Cecile studied with other teachers such as Felix Lecoupe, Augustine Savard, and Martin Marsic. All of these teachers recognized Cecile's talent almost immediately. Chaminade gave her first piano recital at the age of 18. Her first professional debut was in France in 1877. A critic described her as brilliantly talented and magnificent. Her concerts were held in numerous cities in France and remained in France for most of her early performing years. During this time, she continued to compose more orchestral and solo works. A composer by the name of Ambrose Thomas watched Cecile perform and spread the word that she should be known as a real composer rather than a woman composer. Women composers during this time had to fight a lot harder to prove themselves than men. The quality of women's music was harshly judged simply because of gender norms. Chaminade's music sold well but received severe criticism because she was a woman. Her piano salon music and songs were very popular. However, her more serious works such as operas, ballets, and orchestral pieces were less likable by the critics. Almost all of her music was published in her lifetime, but because of gender stereotypes, most evaluations were critical. Cecile's father passed away in 1887. His death put the Chaminade family in somewhat of a financial crisis. The only way that they would be able to survive economically was if Cecile's music was successful. With this pressure to support her family, Cecile worked even harder to compose pieces that would successfully sell. She worked primarily on smaller compositions such as solo piano works rather than larger operas and ballets. Fortunately, these smaller works did very well. These compositions were essentially the legacy that she left as a composer. Cecile took these compositions on an international tour and aggressively sold her music as sheet music so that her mother would be financially taken care of as well. In 1901, Cecile married a music publisher named Louis Matthew Carbonell. Her new husband took her aging mother's place on tour with her. Cecile insisted the marriage be platonic and the couple resided in separate homes from each other. After her husband's sudden death, Cecile received several marriage proposals, but she insisted she was to be wedded to her music until she dies. In 1913, Cecile Chaminade became the first female composer to have permission to be admitted to the Order of the Legion of Honor, which was a prestigious group of individuals that uphold liberty and equality in France. As World War I came to an end, Chaminade no longer recognized the world she lived in and refused to take on the new ideas of music. She then took on a reclusive lifestyle and later passed away in 1944. To recap, Cécile Chaminade was a prolific composer of the late 1800s and early 1900s. Deemed the first woman composer, Cécile was an extremely talented musician who worked hard to provide for her family and set the tone for women musicians to follow in the future.